Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So yes, it is that time again. Time to take up some champions. And it is my favorite time. I love ranking up champions. It's one of my favorite things to do in Marvel Contest of Champions. I just love seeing champions grow in strength and power. And of course, my roster grows in strength and power. All right, so in this video, we're gonna be taking up four different champions. Uh, I didn't take up a champion last level up, but this one covers two different level ups. I ranked up, I believe, three in one of them and then one in another one. All right, so without further ado, we're gonna start, well, we'll reveal it in five, four, three, two, one, Storm. All right, so first one up is Storm. Now, you'll notice she's ranked two. I told you guys in a previous video that I have a few, not that many left now, uh, that were stuck at rank two. And I wanted to take them up to rank three. They got stuck at rank two because, you know, in the past, I took them to rank two, wanted to take them to rank three, and then something happened that kept me from doing it. Either um, I had other priorities, like in the case of Storm here, uh, she was a mutant, but I had other mutants that uh, I got that I wanted to take up over her, and so I kept her at rank two. Now, I finally am able to take her to rank three. Now, Storm got a um, buff not too long ago, and she was always uh, powerful. She always had some good damage. Well, they increased her damage. Her damage is still really good, <laughs> okay? Um, I don't know where I would place her on the damage charts, but she is really good. She also has... Um, I think, is she immune to uh, shock now? I'll have to do a, a deep dive on her uh, to reacquaint myself with what they've done to her because she's not quite the same as she was before. Now, I remember when all I had was a five star, star, five star of her, I used a gem to take her to rank four. And at that time, it was a bit controversial. But she was part of the mutant... Uh, what was it, crit synergy team that I was using at the time. And I was like, she's good damage and I'm going to be bringing her along anyway on that team. So may as well take her up. I didn't want to invest a whole lot of resources at the time. So instead I used a gem that I had gotten. I don't remember where. So here we have her as a six star. I was very happy to get her as a six star. And I had always planned to take her to rank three. Just for fun, she's a, a nice nuker. Um, and I remember, <laughs> I remember um, a certain YouTuber, um, I won't mention uh, his name, Killer Beasy, uh, but he went up against her in, uh, I think it was an arena. And it was hilarious. I, I teased him about it because the thing with her, and it's happened to me, uh, just not live like it happened to him. Uh, if you take your eyes off of her or you're not paying attention, she'll one-shot you. That's how much her damage was. And remember, they've increased her damage. So what ended up happening, I think um, he got caught by her special one, I think it was, either her special one or a special two. And it was like, bam, bam, and he was dead. Just that quick. He had been fighting well all the way up until that time. One special, and he was dead. So she can put it out. Uh, you don't see her being used a lot, but especially for me, um, I like to rank up champions that are going to be good for me in the arena as well as other places. And someone who can take you out with the special one is gonna be pretty quick in the arena. So I have no problem taking her up. All right, so that's one less rank two that I have. 
so <laughs> the next one is going to be Silver Centurion. Now, when I got him, I told you guys that I liked him. And I don't believe he absolutely needs to be awakened. But I'll need to look again at his uh, awakened ability to see just how good it is. But one of the things I like about uh, Silver Centurion, his damage sneaks up on you. He has sneaky damage. Um, he does a lot of shock, and I can't remember if his shocks are passive. Uh, I want to say they are, but they may not be. So don't quote me on that. Uh, but I love it. I love it when, you know, I'm fighting with him and those shocks start stacking up and their health is just going. He reminds me of, um, uh, what's the name? Uh, Black Widow Deadly Origin where she doesn't do the big damage, you know, the great yellow numbers, you know, high crits, all that good stuff, but her damage sneaks up. You know, you're hitting, 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 and their life just starts draining. And you're like, whoa, you know, a lot of people don't realize just how, I think by now people realize her, her damage. Well, Silver Centurion has similar type of damage where he, has it sneak up on you. He is definitely more of a damage over time uh, champion, like she is. Uh, I don't know who does more damage between him and her though. Um, she probably does the more uh, damage if I had to uh, just guess, but I like him, I like him. So no problems taking him up. Uh, you'll notice that I'm taking champs up directly from one to three, whenever I can. Um, if I can't do that, then I usually am not gonna rank them up. So these days, I'm just using up everything that I can. Uh, if you're wondering why my units are so low, it's because I keep going to that rank up store and buying rank up materials so that I can take champions up to rank three directly if I don't have the uh, resources. And I'm usually short of something. Either it's the T5 basics or the T4 basics, something. Since, you know, you need T4 basics to take them from one to two, you know? And you can see here, I'm just being lazy. I can actually uh, get the ISO that I need. I don't have to use this gray ISO. I could get more uh, tech ISO. I'm just being lazy. And it's not like I need uh, the gold, but I recommend you guys don't do this. Uh, using that, you know, gray ISO, you're actually losing out uh, on gold. So if you're having any kind of gold problems or issues, never do this. Sell it. Sell the gray ISO and wait until you have the class ISO to take up a champion. All right, so do as I say, not as I do, because unless you're in my position, you can see how much gold I have up there. Unless you have that kind of gold, don't use a uh, gray ISO or off class ISO. Don't do that also. Um, but you'll see me do it, you know, every once in a while, uh, I'll do that. All right, so uh, anyway, Silver Centurion, you can see where we're having uh, issues uh, and we do every time we do a rank up, you know, a little bit sluggish, uh, the servers, um, but we're almost done with ranking up uh, Silver Centurion here. And I'll probably do uh, a video on him, but I want to wait until I get him awakened. Uh, like I said, I'm not quite sure. Uh, whether he needs to be awakened or not, but I do want him awakened. All right, there we go. He is ranked up. All right, so now the next one is going to be Guillotine 2099. So let me tell you why she got stuck at 
rank two. This was before the abyss was released. We didn't know a lot of information on the abyss. Guillotine had come out and she is a good champion. She's just not really my style of champion. Okay. But she is a good champion. So we saw how her ramp up was almost infinite in a single fight. And so we were like, whoa, she looks like she could be Star-Lord or Aegon for the Abyss. And so a lot of us took her to rank two in anticipation of taking her to rank three to use in the Abyss. Remember, we didn't know anything about the Abyss. So when the Abyss was released, we saw that she would not be good for it because the Abyss had um, somewhat of a cap on your combo. So she would not be able to ramp up a uh, combo or anything like that. So um, she got stuck at rank two. Uh, I've done videos on her and she is definitely good. You know, she's uh, immune to bleed and poison and her damage once you get her up there is really good. Um, I don't like the fact that she loses her combo every fight, but if you manage to get to a special three, then she can start with 100, but it's easy for her to lose it uh, in the next one. Um, there's ways to get around that. But anyway, that's why she was at two. She's now three. Next one is Gamora. So on a live stream, uh, someone asked me about Gamora and they said, well, you know, what do you think of Gamora? Is she good? Is she bad? Um, she got a buff, uh, a little bit of a rework. And I say a little bit, but it's not really a little rework. It, it actually improved her damage quite a bit. Uh, she is a decent nuker. All right. Um, I think a lot of people probably uh, underestimate her damage. But one of the things that they did was they took her old special two and made it her current special one. Think about that. Her special two did a lot of damage. Now her special one does a lot of damage. And she had a new special two, which also does a lot of damage. But I love champions that have very strong special ones because it's very quick to ramp them up to a special one and fire it off. That's great for short fights like you have in the arena. And I just, I love Gamora's damage. Uh, she reminds me just of that quick damage of like um, Storm. I have ended fights with her special one, the first special one. You know, they've had some good damage and then boom, boom, dead. Okay. Um, so definitely Gamora is awesome. I also like Gamora uh, as a character. You know, you have to have some fun rank ups uh, at times, you know, and Gamora is definitely a fun rank up and she does good damage and she's fast in the arena. So she checks all the boxes that I need to rank up a champion. Uh, so as I'm grinding out the arena and all that good stuff, I get to use her often because uh, thanks to the change in the stamina, I do not have to worry about um, my rank ones or my rank twos if I don't want to. Uh, if I'm just doing a milestone grind, I just need to rank, um, run my uh, rank three, four, five champions and then wait for them to come off cooldown seven hours later 
and boom, I'm done with my uh, milestones. Quick, easy, relaxing. Okay, uh, so definitely loving that change. But champions like Gamora make the fights even faster. I do run the recoil mastery. She's not uh, recoil friendly. But in any case, that is going to do it for the rank ups. Uh, take care. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like button. It helps me out. It helps me grow, guys. Uh, take care. And you all have a blessed day.